We're here with Jessica Botchfora, number 19, from the Arkansas Razorbacks. She is an outfielder from 07 to 2010, and she played for the Diamonds in 2010 and 2011. Um, were, you, were you drafted? No. You just signed? I just signed. You went and did the open tryouts? I, well, it was a little bit of like, I knew somebody who knew somebody and word of mouth. And yeah. So, yeah, they didn't really do tryouts for the Diamond, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is her second year as a graduate assistant at Arkansas. Um, she, in her career, she had 21 home runs, 57 stolen bases, 81 RBIs, 300 career batting average. Still holding? Yes. Still holding. The record for Arkansas? For now, yeah. Okay. Is anybody close to beating that? Um, Only not, two seniors this year. Yeah, none of the seniors this year. Okay. We've got some young, some underclassmen that have a chance at it. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, we'll, we'll hope it holds for a little while. Yeah. So we can say that. Um, so, first question, what's it like from a coaching perspective instead of playing on the field? It's really hard. It, um, I'm used to just being able to be able to go out there and do something, and when stuff's going wrong, I could, I could go fix it, or I had, you know, I had a say in what was going on, and so it's been a hard, it's frustrating just to be have to sit on the bench, but then it's also been really rewarding. I love working with the girls, and some of them were my own teammates, or and they're my friends, and then getting to work with them and seeing it pay off, it's been a lot of fun, and so it's kind of a, a little bit of both. I'm still a player, and so it still kills me to have to sit there, but like. Learning the coaching side of things has been great. I've learned a lot from the position I'm in now, the graduate assistant stuff, and how to deal with the girls from that perspective and everything. So it's been a learning experience, but I've really enjoyed getting to coach and especially starting out coaching my friends and stuff. It was a little easier. They knew me. I could relate. And so it's been good. So frustrating was tonight frustrating that you couldn't go out there and uh you know, get a, get a key hit. I, I yeah. heard there was eight combined between the two teams, 18 runners left on base. And yeah, that was we frustrating. struck out twice with runners, with bases loaded. And yeah, it was frustrating. I just want it so bad. I love to win, obviously. And so it's just like, I want it so bad. And I'm just like, just let me go, go do it. So it's hard, but I want it for them too. I'm like, I just sit in the dugout. I'm like, I hope she gets a hit here. I hope she can come through because I know what it feels like to come through and I know what it feels like to to not and so I want it for them just as bad it's like you know you never you don't know what it's like until you're the coach and when you like you've been working with these girls all year and you just want it so bad for them and if and then if I could help them win if I could be in the lineup and help them win it would be great <laughs> yeah I mean like I haven't you, you you were here in 2010, so you might have seen the pitchers that were pitching tonight. So you could have had that approach up there, knowing what was going to go on. Yeah, I faced uh, at least two of them. I think I faced both of them that pitched tonight, and so yeah, I kind of knew what they were going to throw and tried to pass that knowledge along right. and stuff. But it just—it's one of those things you just want to go out there and do it. Right. But right. Yeah. I'm learning. I'm trying to get better at it. I think you're doing a pretty good job. Oh, well, thank you. Um, so how is it different than coaching that 18 under team? 18 under team, you were in college, you coached them, and then you came to the SEC. This is, I mean, it's such a high level. Like you are playing against the best of the best every day you go out there. I mean, our conference there's however many teams rank, and so it's very much just, it's really intense, and a lot of stuff that I've learned. You have to coach the mental side a lot more once you get to college. Everybody's got the physical skills and the physical talent or they wouldn't be here. And so coaching the mental side or thinking the game and learning how to get over mistakes quickly is a lot more of what goes into this level. Whereas in 18s, you're still trying to coach fundamentals. You're making sure that they have all that right before they leave for college. So when they get to college, they're not worried about as much mechanic stuff. And don't get me wrong, it's plenty of mechanics and every day. But what I've learned from college-wise is there's a lot of mental approaches and all that. And getting to work with the kids every day, you know, for a ton of time is really different. In summer ball, you get up for practice a couple days a week for a couple hours, but mainly it's just play, play, play. And here, like, you, work, you get to work with them and really help them grow and really help them see them progress rather than just, like, the three months of the summer ball team. So it's been more in-depth. 
definitely. Yeah. I would think so. Yes. I was, I was, I was thinking that's what you say because it's a it's definitely a tough conference. Yeah. They don't, you know, think of us as the conference because we haven't won a national championship yet. But right. Hopefully soon. I'll take it. I'll take on the Pac-10. Let's see, kid. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Um, do you have any aspirations to be a head coach, major university, SEC school, Arkansas? I would love to. Um, that's actually what I'm doing next next year when I graduate. I'll graduate in May and then hopefully find a coaching job. Um, I want to stay in college and preferably start in Division One. Um, I'd like, I mean, as an assistant, obviously, and wherever I can find a job and then work my way up from there. I would love to eventually end up at an SEC school. I love this conference. I love the area. It's just where my heart is. And if I could go back and be a Razorback and coach the team I played for, I would love it. I love Fayetteville. I love the Hogs. Like it will always be. I will always have that special place in my heart. So if I could get back there one day, it would be a huge dream come true. Um, but just getting to any major university as a head coach would be really big. I. I hope that I can do that and stay in this career for long enough and just get to, imp I mean, just getting to impact girls' lives and helping the sport and it's given so much to me that I feel like I have to give back. So.